Welcome back to my channel, Impart Math Knowledge. This video is about Lagrange's method. Lagrange's linear equation is of the form PP plus QQ is equal to R, PQR are functions of X, Y. P, Q and R are functions of X, Y and Z. For these kind of equation, first we write the axillary equation dx by p, dy by q and dz by r. p a function attached with small p, q function attached with small q, r right hand side function. So in this case, first you consider two of these ratios at a time and make sure that it is integrable. After integrating, simplify it and get the values of C1 and C2. From C1 and C2, we write the general solution that is pi of C1 comma C2 is equal to 0. If grouping method is not possible, we can apply Lagrange's method of multiplier for getting the general solution for these kind of equations. The problem is Px plus Qy is equal to yes. This is the partial differential equation. If the equation contains x, y, z, p, q, then we go with Lagrange's method. The given equation is of the form p, p plus q, q is equal to r, q, p is equal to x, q is equal to y, and r is equal to right hand side function x. Axillary equation is dx by p, dy by q, dz by r. This can be written as dx by p is x, dy, q is y, d is it, right hand side value is x. Take this as number 1. Now we can apply grouping method here. So for that you can Consider two of these ratios, dx by x and dy by dy. Whenever selecting the ratio, make sure that it should be integrable. Here, select first and second ratio, dx by x, dy by y. Integrating this, that is, Integral of dx by x is equal to integral of dy by y. We know that integral of 1 by x dx is log x. So this can be written as log x. Integral of 1 by y dy is log y. The constant term is log c. Now this can be written as log x. Taking log y to the left hand side, so log c1. We know that log a minus log b is log a by b. So this can be written as log x by y, which is equal to log c1. Cancelling log on both sides, we get c1 is equal to x by y. For finding the next constant, we can select first on the third ratio. The ratio is dx by x is equal to dz by x. Cancelling the like terms. So dx is equal to dz. Integrating this, we get integral of dx is x. Integral of d is it is is it plus constant c2. So c2 is x minus is it. The general solution is pi of c1 comma c2 is equal to 0. Pi of c1 is x by y, c2 is x minus is it is equal to 0. The problem is z square x p plus y square q is equal to z square a. This is of the form p p plus q q is equal to r, where p is z square x, q is y square a, and r is z square a. The axillary equation is dx by p, 
dy by q d is it by dx by z square x square a dy by y square a and d is it by z square a take this as number one like previous problem we can grouping the ratios dx by z square x d is that by z square a let us dx by z square x d is that by z square a cancelling the like terms z square z square getting cancelled so dx by x is equal to d is that integral of dx by x is equal to integral of d is z we know that 1 by x dx is log x this is integral of d is it is z plus constant c1 from this we can write c1 is equal to log x minus z c1 is equal to log x minus z for finding c2 Select the second and third ratio. dy by y square a is equal to dz by z square a. When y square goes to numerator, it becomes y power minus 2. Integrating this, y power minus 2 dy is equal to z power minus 2 dz. We know that integral of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So this can be written as y power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. Right hand side, z power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus constant c1. y inverse is 1 by y. z inverse is 1 by z plus c2. From this we can write c2 is equal to minus 1 by y plus 1 by z. That is minus z plus y by z y so c2 is y minus z by y is z the general solution is pi of c1 comma c2 is equal to 0 where c1 is log x minus z c2 is y minus z by y is z is equal to 0 for solving lagrange's linear equation first you write the axillary equation dx by p dy by q and d z by R. For finding the constant C1 and C2, we need to grouping the ratios. After grouping the ratios, integrating the terms. From that simplify C1 and C2. Practice these problems in a similar manner for better understanding. Hope you all understand. Thank you for watching.